30 people are displaced tonight after a fire broke out at a condo complex in Loveland overnight. Yeah, nobody was injured, but a lot of people lost everything. This is some video as that fire continued early into the morning. Our Courtney King is in Loveland. She spoke with a father who was able to get out and joins us live. Yeah, Trisha and Robs, we're live here at Carrington Crossing because this is where that fire happened here in Loveland. I don't know if you can hear it through the microphone, but the fire alarms are still going off and they were going off when we got here at five o'clock earlier today. We did speak with a father who was able to get out safely with his daughter, but he tells us that he now needs to get her all new school clothes. It's, it's just like a movie scene, you know, just after midnight Wednesday, Josh Listerman woke up to a banging on his door because our neighbors were downstairs yelling. There's a fire. So obviously my first instinct is to get my daughter out of the building, which I did. The dad says he went back into the building after getting his daughter out safely. Then he and a neighbor grabbed a fire extinguisher, hoping to put it out. We tried to get the extinguisher and open her door. And as soon as we opened her door, the smoke was already like coming out super heavy. So at that point, just kind of exited the building. Josh and more than 30 other residents forced out of their homes stood and watched this site. You know, and you could see the flames just went up to the top and they just swept that way. Loveland Sims Fire says a woman using a burning tool while doing her nails caused the fire. Fire officials say a portion of the second floor collapsed onto the first floor. You just you feel like it's not real. Or you're in a dream, obviously, like it just, it just doesn't feel real. Josh says because the building is condemned, he doesn't know how much damage there is to his condo where he's lived with his daughter for the last eight years. I did have time to grab my wallet, phone and keys, and that's about it. My first thought was to go see if anybody needed anything. Many people like Lisa Heineken jumped into action to help those who had to evacuate. She started bringing people coffee and water, but also gave a shirtless man something to wear. So I went through my clothes that either are big or small and just grabbed up a few things, random things, some flip flops, some gym shoes I never wear. There was a lady that didn't have any shoes on. She took the flip flops. She took, there's another lady that took a sweatshirt. And Josh tells us that he did get an insurance check to get emergency clothes for himself and his daughter. And both him and the people we spoke with say that they are relieved everyone out, everyone got out safely and that there were no injuries. But we're live in Loveland tonight with photojournalist Jared Darwish, Courtney King, Fox 19 Now.